Okay, that seems to work. I can see the game. I can see the chat. I can hopefully be seen by you. So if I'm like crying, you'll just see the like mascara smudges going down my cheek. It's very important. Oh, excellent. Yeah, I changed my look during the pandemic because yeah, isn't it exciting? My camera has a, it has an arm now, so I can do this with it. Um, yeah, like, I think I probably talked on stream before about, like, uh, realizing that I could dress like the charming rogues of my dreams, because I can be them instead of pursuing them. Hi, Aventura, that's correct. How, okay, so you can hear me, you can hear the game. We're good? Everything is all right? <laughs> Crisis Core 2 stream, yes. Oh, man. <clears throat> I have water. Because I'm smart. Yes, I'm sorry, Ninja Prawn. She wrote me back. She doesn't like girls. She was like, I wish I did, actually, but I don't. But it's okay. We talked through it. So we're still friends. <laughs> it's all good. Um... Yeah, no, it's okay, though. I'm proud of myself for asking, you know, and to have gone this far in my life and have this be the first time that that's happened, like, it had to happen eventually, right? Yeah, no, she's a really good, a really good, like, person to be friends with, and I'm, I'm excited to have a new friend that I've only known, I mean, like, I've known her, but not, like, like actually, like, hung out and talked a whole bunch until the past couple of months, um, but yeah, she's pretty rad. So yeah, yeah. And, and there's something to be said for being like, oh, this is a thing that you can do. Sorry, I'm raising up my microphone. I'm going to try putting it over here. If it, if it'll go, will you go? Are you going to, are you going to cooperate microphone? I, just, I feel like that. Ah, no, don't turn that way. Why are you doing this? Yes. The zone where friends go is a good zone. It is good to be. Friends are good. Um, so Yeah. I, for anyone who wants the context, and this is just me like chatting before the stream, <laughs> we will start the stream properly. Um, but especially if you've been in my Discord server, you've heard me talking about there being, there's a girl. Um, it's the girl I've mentioned that I've been playing Final Fantasy VI with. Um, so I, I, I asked her out yesterday, uh, and she let me down very gently <laughs> because she doesn't, she's not not interested in girls, <laughs> which happens sometimes. Um, but it's all right. Um, <laughs> well, cause like, and I've had, I've had girlfriends before, um, but I haven't really dated all that many people cause I've mostly had like one really long relationship with a guy, um, and then a couple of other relationships with guys. So yeah. So it's, uh, it's cool. Oh, the thing is, so the thing with the, fr with the friend zone, this is probably going to come as no surprise to anyone who's ever come to my streams before. The idea of there being a friend zone. So Chrono is trying to reclaim that with the, with the idea that if you're friends with someone, that's good. It shouldn't be a consolation prize. If you want this person in your life, then being friends with them should be good. And if you have a hard time with that, then like that's understandable and human. Um, but I will say it is better. I'm glad. I'm glad that I asked her. Um, and I feel like I've, I feel like I've learned things <laughs> about myself. Um, and I'm proud of myself because it's, because it's scary. It's scary to take a chance on something like that, especially like, especially like with like a queer relationship, like that's scarier for some reason. Um, but yeah, so long story short, that, that didn't happen, but it's okay. <laughs> Well, I didn't know that she was a straight girl. I, 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 when I asked her out, I specifically said, I don't even know if you like girls, but if you do, do you want to go on a date? And if not, let's be friends. And she was like, yeah, so sorry, but let's be friends. And I was like, okay, cool. Yeah. They are sometimes they are. No, it's, it's, it's true. Um, so clearly I just need to find, I just need to find my own Aerith. Apparently, I mean, like saucy sassiness, it's a good thing. So, oh, Vinny, 
Thank you, Vinny. Huh. Sub Santa has arrived and is doing is doing he him his thing. Um, don't mean to assume things, and I'm sorry if you've uh if you clear that no, I feel like I was being a disaster lesbian, but I still did the thing. So if I can do it, we can all do it. Also, Brandy, thank you for subscribing. Alright, folks. I've managed to stall, <laughs> I think, long enough. Um, talking about um, talking about things, uh, <laughs> in my personal life. Namely, I asked someone out and was informed by her that she doesn't like girls, but that's okay. We're still friends. And I did the thing. I did the hard thing. I asked a girl out. I've only done that twice before in my life. Um, so here's one more and you get experiences. The thing is real life is like RPGs. The more you do something, the more experience you get. Um, and so that's, uh, that's something to keep in mind if you try to do something. And I sort of have this like panel presentation thing that I do at conventions like MAGFest and stuff sometimes that's like on like making friends and like getting comfortable talking to people. And one of the things that I talk about there is, um, is that like, if, if talking to people is hard, here's some safe ways to practice talking to people. Um, and you just like, you can do things that are basically like grinding experience levels. <laughs> And you do those and then you get better and it's easier. Um, so that's my segue into the fact that we're playing in JRPG. Um, see, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm being on, on, on topic. Not that I'm, not that I'm ever off topic. That would never happen. <laughs> Uh, okay. Anyway, yeah. Oh, we just saved, so I don't need to resave because I did the save, the saving, and then I didn't unplug the console or accidentally turn it off in the interim. I am so proud of myself. If I were in an RPG, I would be a red mage. <laughs> so, oh my god, Dismaya, as long as there's sword fighting. Because disaster lesbians have to be fencers, duelists, red mages. I don't make the rules, friend. That's just how it is. <laughs> oh, man. So, by the way, I did actually work more on Shinra High. Um, so, that should be landing in a Kronos inbox for beta reading sometime soon, and then the rest of you can read it. Oh man. So hopefully um hopefully that'll happen. Apologies for how long that has taken me because I know that I've been talking about that for now I think um 2 months. But thank you for your patience. Um So fully on the other side of the emotional spectrum from these characters are ridiculous high school students with high school drama and silliness. Um, in this, the most immersive game I've ever played, thanks to skipping at least one console generation entirely. <laughs> um, oh, maybe. Asking a question about the, the. I, I, let's not talk about the let's not talk about sequels to the fanfic until I write and post the first chapter of the fanfic. Um, but yeah, so we are here, having fought through several waves of Hojo's tortured mad science, evil science monstrosity. Like I say, I want to distinguish between mad science, which is usually not good science, but is not as inherently bad as his science. Also, like. I feel like mad scientists, there's something, wait, it's moving, wait, it's moving, wait, guys, it's moving, it's, it's, oh, oh dear, oh dear, wow, the purple Kool-Aid is moving, look at that, look at, look, look, it's 
some of it's not. Some of it looks like blood splatters and it's dried, but but some of it is is literally like it's it's <sighs> Wow. Sorry, I was in the middle of saying something and I got distracted by that. Look at look at that. But it mm. 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 This music here makes me think of Talos Principle. Have I ever told you about the Talos Principle? <laughs> I won't, I won't, I won't do it. I won't do it. I won't do it. Yes, yeah, so what What Axel is saying here about Hojo being, like, painfully sane is what I'm getting at. Like, mad scientists, sometimes you're like, they don't even know whether they're doing evil things because they're just, like, unhinged. Um, he's not unhinged in that way. He's just an awful person who genuinely doesn't care. Um, and has no reason to pretend to care. Because I think we've all known some people who um, seem like they don't care about the feelings of other people or who suffers for things, but they kind of are aware on some level that they need to kind of keep it in check. Um, and they're dangerous people to have in a community. Um, but uh, if you take away the like social pressure of penalties because I think most of us come with our built-in penalties for doing evil like if you hurt somebody and you see them in pain odds are reasonably high that you're gonna feel bad about it on some level you may then be like well they deserved it anyway because they're not actually even a person or whatever like you're gonna rationalize it but you have that gut reaction if you see someone in pain and you know you caused it you probably don't feel so great um Having a conscience, I think, keeps us uh, from acting out our, our worst instincts and our worst selves. Um, and then there's people who, I swear to God, don't have a conscience. And so they don't have that built-in, like, feeling of guilt if they hurt somebody or, 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 now let's not be overly ambitious here, but perhaps empathy and the desire to help other people feel better sometimes maybe um but 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 for people who don't view other people as worth their compassion if they or who lack compassion and empathy um like I, the only thing sometimes it feels like keeping them in line is is social pressure is the the like the threat of like ostracism or lack of power or consequences none of which have any weight against Hojo, who is in one of the most powerful positions in, I mean, I'm going to say the world, realizing that I literally don't know what the rest of the world is like right now. Um, because like we went around the rest of the world a little bit in Crisis Core, but it was like small villages, some of which had power. They had they had power power plants. We blew one up. Reactors, right? Mako reactors. That's what we call them in this game. Yes, Gungaga. <laughs> um. <laughs> Thanks, Eternity. Yeah. So so Hojo is what happens when you have somebody who just just doesn't care about other people's pain in a position where like who's gonna stop him there are only a few people who can and they're not going to they think he's gross when he was like what if we impregnated her with something and blah 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 creepy science gross weirdness and everyone's just like what is wrong with you and none of them stopped him or were like maybe maybe we shouldn't give free reign and power to this Hojo. Fill in your adjectives of choice. There are very many to choose from that would be appropriate. Um, well, Dos Mea, it's because of, it's because of the, the, the Genova grape Kool-Aid. That's, that's why. Because the Genova grape Kool-Aid is the intersection <laughs> of sociopathy and morality and artificial fruit flavors, you see. <laughs> because 
I assume that even having Genova here in the first place has something to do with Hojo's madness. And certainly, um, like, I feel like if things had been handled differently, like, even if they were like, we're going to do some science and we're going to try to make some super soldiers using our alien cells as a surprising number of governmental organizations and works of fiction have, have made that exact decision. <laughs> um, <laughs> sorry. Um, but like if, if, if they did, and this is something that some works of fiction do, right? And others, I think, or that some of the works of fiction do and others I think do a simpler version where it's like, oh, well, we'll just like, we'll not tell them. We'll give them an expert. We'll do this. We'll do that. Um, and then like, it's not like they were raised. Um, it's not like they, they were raised without any sort of affection or support as I, as, as I remember, like that's, which is why Angel and Sephiroth are relatively functional people. I mean, not like there was a third one or anything like that. Um, but, like, I don't know, just... Either they didn't think about it, they didn't care what it would do to these people to realize what's happening to them and for it to start happening. And I just, I don't know. They really... Final Fantasy really does have certain themes that it goes to again and again and again. Like, obviously, there's the, the themes of, of environmentalism that are central and key to this game that pop up in others. Um, and the, the idea that by that you, like, basically take life from one planet to give to another or from, from the planet to give to your people, something like that. Like, the things that could fall into the category of planet juice have been explored um, in a couple of other games in this series. Um, but, uh, the, the idea of people having, like, like artificial people being created with an expiration date, um, and having to come to terms with that, this is not the only Final Fantasy game in which that's relevant. Um, not to spoil older Final Fantasies completely, but that is, um, that is... Um, a theme with multiple characters that that applies to in Final Fantasy IX. Um, and enough times in Final Fantasy IX that is very, very much one of the themes of Final Fantasy IX. And now that I think about it, I'm sorry, my, my inner English major is coming out. <laughs> I'm a literary studies major. Um, we, we tell the stories that we want to, like we tell the stories that we want to tell and we ask the questions that we want to answer. And through asking those questions and writing a story that is in itself an exploration of an answer, we're kind of able to make peace with those questions. Um, so like in a way, Final Fantasy IX, and I don't think that this is, this is a stretch at all. Final Fantasy IX to a large degree is about mortality. Um, my, one, of my, uh, one of my favorite... Okay, so there's, a, there's a, a YouTube musician that you may or may not know. Most of the stuff that he did was adding comedic lyrics to things. I don't do comedy, but he did a very, very, it, 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 it's, it's like kind of a schmaltzy musical theater piano background, but he did um, a serious one um, that's Zidane to Vivi. Um, it's Brental Floss, if you know him, uh, on, on YouTube. And I absolutely love it, but kind of the, the, in some, the meaning of it is everyone's going to die. Why not live? Um, and, and I love that sentiment, but that's also like kind of in some ways the thesis statement of Final Fantasy IX. Um, and I feel like Crisis Core doesn't quite get at it in the same way, um, but that's not not relevant to Crisis Core, and therefore, by extension, relevant to the Final Fantasy VII remake? I can't make generalizations about Final Fantasy VII since I might as well not have played the original at this point. Um, which people, people who know me and stuff like, do let me know, do you think it would work? People who know Seven, know Seven Remake and know me, I do want to consult with you about whether I should play through Final Fantasy VII original in chunks after I play Crisis Core 2 and Crisis Core 3 and Crisis Four ha Core, however many we get. Um, <laughs> um, I haven't played 8, 
Um, but, uh, well, so it's Chrono, this is not about whether I'm missing it so much as like, I'm just like, would I, would it spoil the subsequent games in this series if I did that? Because I think that there could be some really interesting stuff there as far as, um, as far as seeing what's different between the two, what got changed, perhaps what was a translation issue, that sort of thing, like, um, could be fun. I could also be like, this is why I don't like this character or didn't, um, but I don't know. Um, it's something to think about. Um, but yeah, or either that or I wait until all of the crisis cores are out and then I go back and play Final Fantasy VII and we have a big long chat about it. Um, so that's, that's, a uh, that's something that I'm thinking about. Um, so I have gone off on a big tan tangent here. So I saw some of you were literally betting at the start of the stream, <laughs> what kind of tangent I was going to go on. So anybody who voted yes, I was going to like, congratulations, you won the bet. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Um, but, uh, tying it back around, gosh, we have, we're off to a good start. We've talked about like the nature of morality and the value of conscience or lacking that social consequences and how Hojo has neither of those. We've talked about sentient great Kool-Aid and the idea of, of confronting mortality and choosing to live anyway. Um, which I feel like I could go off on that some more, talking about the characters of Crisis Core and how they react to their own imminent death, including Zack heroically walking into known death. Like, there's no way he could possibly win. But he's got something to fight for. And he won't just, he, he won't just give up. Because even if you're going to die, why give up? Why not go out on your terms? Yeah, it's a, uh, it's good. It's a good game. I cried so much. I mean, a bunch of you have seen me cry that much. So, all right. Well, Axel, that's probably, that's, that's what I was mostly leaning towards is playing this, like, I guess, pure and doing it its own experience. And then at some point years in the future, <laughs> if Twitch is still around and we're still doing this, I will have that experience with all of you. Um, it makes a really disturbing splotch, splurge. So it's not splurge, splurge. What would it, what would it do to your shoes if you got Genova juice on your shoes? I really don't like how it moves around. <laughs> That's fair, Dosmea. Like I said, I was only going to play like the chunks of what I had just played through um, in Remake, but... That's true, this act did win all our hearts. I, I, I imagine there are people who have played Crisis Core and didn't like Zack, and I don't understand how that could be possible. He's... Because it is Genova cells that they put in the boys. And then they put the boys cells in other living things, like random animals. <laughs> Thanks. That's not even, that's not even just Hojo, that's, what's the other guy's name? I'm going to call him Dr. Poopy Pants. So somebody give me an actual name for him because I don't remember it. What's his name? Hollander. Thank you. I knew he was... I knew he was also an H, but he wasn't Heidegger. Yes. The two of them are not good scientists. They, uh... So it looks like he just, like, dragged... There's less... There's less goopies here. But then the goopies start back up. And there's a little glow there. Um, but yeah, so... So, I guess that means that Cloud's kind of, like, got Genova cells once removed in him. So he's, like, a, a descendant of Alien indirectly? I don't know how that works. But, uh, 
Wrong button, Lauren. You hit the button that is glowing. You see, it shows you the button glowing. All right. <sighs> Shall we do this? Yes, I'm Genova's second cousin, once removed. Everyone's looking at me. Hi. Yeah, I guess it's time. I guess it's time. Push the button. So what's above this floor? Nothing good. The president's office. And then the roof. Could be worse. Probably will be worse. Wait. Once we get in that elevator, there's no turning back. We're ready. Right? Her? The elevator back there can take us down to the central terminal again. Now's the time for any unfinished business. Okay. Yes, no question. Is there unfinished business that I haven't done that I should go back and do here? Because I feel like I was pretty thorough in my own ways. Can I check on Johnny again? If only! Hope he's alright. Alright. Onward, my friends. Onward. Mini games and fight club. Oh, can you actually go all the way down down? A level grind. Okay. Okay. Well, this feels... Okay. This moment feels like a survival horror moment. We've got ominous ambient sounds. We've got creepy alien gross goo floor yuck in an elevator. We've got text ominously like doesn't this feel like a moment from a survival horror game? Which is great. Because that's very fitting for what we should be feeling at this point in the game. And obviously they weren't like, let's make a survival horror moment. But definitely they want it to be creepy and scary and ominous. The same way that survival horror people do. So they just created a thing that was similar. <sighs> so. I'm ready to do this. Let's go. Red box in first. I want to know his real name. Why are we calling him by... I guess maybe there's something special about their... Like, the people and his people. Maybe their names are special to them. Alright. More Glorp. More Nova Goo. Don't get that on you, Cloud. Yeah, there's more Nova Gloop. Okay, we're gonna not go the way we're supposed to go. Just in case. Just in case. There's something else. No. I really like the effect of the horror goop in a really, like, normal executive business environment. Like, it's way more jarring here than it was in, like, the, the mad science place, you know? Ooh, check out that percussion. What is that, timpani? Might be timpani. Is Sephiroth gonna go like... As they said, the president's here. Is Sephiroth gonna go kill the president? Is he a bad enough dude to murder the president? Yes, he is. I'm just really curious, like, am I gonna turn into a Sephiroth? Are these people turning into this? Oh my god, I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna say it, but you can. I won't judge you if you do. <sighs> See, because it's the 69th floor. Thank you, okay? I knew. <sighs> All right, <laughs> that, I, I knew, I knew, I knew it had to happen, so. What is this? Can I go through it? Is this a door? No. Okay. <sighs> I 
But like, so since I've been thinking about what happened in Crisis Core and the, the like, cause like the Angel puppy, like was like Angel and a dog, but they were like, they were like Genesis bats and things. Like that, that was a thing. That was totally a thing. And like, I just, I wonder whether there's like people turning into Sephiroths and were they like Hojo's experiments that were like sep turning into Sephiroths and um, am I going to? Would Zack have? No, Zack wouldn't have. Zack was not as affected by things because he was a soldier. So he'd already had. And no, I don't think the game told me this. I think I, this is just me. Just me. I'm going off of my own theory as though it's fact. <laughs> But because he'd already had his, his Mako exposure. Look at this. Fancy receptionist desk. They have this part is solid, so you can't just walk through it. If you want to be like, I'm your secretary now, President Shinra. And he's like, no, you're, you're really not. I'm going to call security now. Oh, man. I swear, I'm just like looking around, trying to see like... Oh, is this, oh, this is another. Okay, so it's got double, double admin. Double admin power. That's how you know. Super cool. You get two administrative assistants or receptionist. I guess I don't know. I mean, it depends. Wow, man. Oh, because the lights are mostly out. Because I'm gonna say, like, this feels awfully bad guy ominous in a way that isn't necessarily like be intimidated by my sheer coolness because I am rich and powerful. Oh my god. Perfect. Yes, look down at the city below your feet. That's what we're doing here. <laughs> Receptionist first class. Thank you, Brian. <laughs> How come your mom lets you have two secretaries? Yes. Oh, man. I do really like the continual reinforcement of looking down upon the city, which really comes through, like, in how they think about it. And I do wonder, like, if they lived even and worked even among the city, because these aren't the people below the city. This is the city itself. If they didn't, if they weren't so physically above the city, would they be able to maintain being so mentally and emotionally above the city? I don't know. Okay. So that's the way that... That's the way that Sephiroth went. He, he, he's not very subtle. So do we go to Sephiroth way? Do we take, a, take the other stairs? You're not my real dad, Sephiroth. You can't tell me what to do. Also, I just have to check every possible everything. Like, there's not even gonna be stuff. I just, the door. That's just the door. That's just the door. You walked by the door. It's not. Yeah, that and the footsteps are just your party members. There's not a bad guy coming to get you right now. You're good. I mean, there will be shortly a bad guy that you're gonna have to fight. All right. He's gonna kill the president. I don't even know why. Why are you gonna kill the president, Sephiroth? Go after Hojo. Unless you're gonna like take them all out. Okay. Just wanna say for the record, because one of the things that I've been kind of concerned about is like this 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 version of Sephiroth that Cloud is seeing in his mind, and then this version of Sephiroth that we're seeing here, and whether any of this is going to be like actual um like is there any like real Sephiroth left? Is this gonna be an echo of Sephiroth? How is that gonna work? The real Sephiroth, who we got to know in Crisis Core, would not stand for this. Um, and, well, because, because, okay, no, so when you say the president sucks, the thing is, if you're just plain going to get revenge for the bad that was done to you, you don't start with President Shinra. You start with the most personal Hojo, um, and then you go from there. If there is still some some real Sephiroth in there and you want to you want to stop Shinra instead of getting personal vengeance you want to stop Shinra you kill the president makes more sense um, so so I'm 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 curious about this we'll see if I just 
I have this impression of Sephiroth as being this, like, cool, evil, reserved dude from the original. But he's not... Like, like he's not, like, cackling in Crisis Core. He doesn't... I mean, he cackles all... I think he cackles when his brain breaks and he's, like, pacing back and forth reading things and is like, oh, shoot, this is really bad. Um... So I'm just, I'm really wondering whether there's going to be the guy that I knew, because he seems like he broke pretty badly even then. So like, what's he going to be like now? I don't know. I don't know. Are we going to see Big Brother's Big Brother's friend? <laughs> Since we're playing as Cloud and not Zack, so. See, Zack is Big Brother, and Angel is Big Brother's Big Brother. So there's Big Brother once removed. Where the hell is that bastard hiding? And Sephiroth? Wait, I can hear something. Um. Is anybody there? But like, no, okay. So I, I don't think I. Help me. I don't think I properly summarized my my impression of Sephiroth from from the original is that he's this like, like cold and human, like killing people, laughing maniacally into the fire type thing. Not like Kafka, but. Um, anyway, there's a thing going on, and I'm trying to figure out, do I know that voice? Where am I? I'm sorry. Yes, I will go save you in a minute, but there's not a timer, so I'm going to come over here. I know, I know, you're having trouble. Here's your helipad. I want to know what's going on with the Turks. I want a Turk revolution so badly. Oh, what? What? Just like, smash a big old hole. Is somebody like dangling out there? Somebody's gonna be dangling out there. Wow. Somebody just smashed right through. Oh, we're gonna... Alright, hold on. Hey, 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 hold on. Hold on, sir. Hold on, I gotta go sit on a bench. And get... I need to add to my infinite supplies of... I'm so glad that they recognize that you're gonna be using Phoenix Downs. I don't usually use Phoenix Downs like crazy in games, but... Okay. Alright, I think I'm good. I should probably check my, uh... I didn't draw the picture. I thought about drawing the picture of everybody sitting on the bench. Is anyone out there? All right. So the girls are in my party, so I should make sure that yes, yeah, see? This is this is why. This is why we check. What did I steal from you last time? Or, or what am I going to steal from Barrett this time? Um, oh. Doubles ATB. Do I want that? No, I never used it. I didn't know I had to use it. What should I put on her? Uh, should I steal Barrett's health up material? I probably won't regret it. Unless I'm going to need... Yeah. Let's take Barrett's health up materia. Maybe. I don't know, though. What if they make me use both parties somehow? Man, but I have to give her something. I want to give her something that's good. Um. Hmm. So everybody in the party has healing. Which is good. Barrett has revival. Fire and ice are covered. And lightning. That's good. Lightning is super covered. Poison is covered. What is subversion? Breach. Subversive spells. Um, I don't know. No. 
Um. No. AP up. No. I've already got that. Uh. I mean, I guess I can use this. Doubles ATB when activated. I. I don't know. Hmm. Like, the obvious choice is to steal the health up one. That's moves. I'm not going to remember how to do that. I guess the effectiveness of items used in battle? No, I don't use items in battle except for Phoenix Down. Unless they can make Phoenix Down more effective. That would be useful. Hmm. I, oh, magic up. Okay. Yeah, we'll do that. That's that's a good solid choice. All right. All right. Everybody else is good. Everybody else is good. Hey. I just don't want to do the thing I've done multiple times where Barrett didn't have any materia for a boss fight. What is going on out here? Are you are you dangling? What's Hey! What is it? Help me. Please. Please help me. Hey! Hey! I <laughs> like Claude just stands there sassily. Help me. Well, well, well. Pull me up. <sighs> I'll give you all the money you want. I have killed plenty of it. <clears throat> Tifa wants to do it because she doesn't like the thought of hurting somebody. What are you going to do, Barrett? I could see it going either way. He is a man with a heart of gold. I don't want your money. But he's also furious as hell. We live. Everything you want can be yours. I'm a man of modest dreams. Dropping you from 70 stories up would get me damn near to good. <laughs> but not all the way. You want something more, don't you? More than this right here? Talk to me again like you know me. <laughs> <laughs> TV and tell them. Tell them what you did to Sector 7. That it was you who killed all those people. Then, you're gonna tell them the truth about Avalanche. No. That Avalanche ain't Wu Tao or anybody's puppet. That Avalanche fights for the people, the planet. That we fight to hold Shinra to account for its crimes. That is Avalanche. The filthy sewer rats who brought down a Goliath. You tell him that. He's not going to, bear it, but that was a good speech. Is that really all you want? For your names to be cleared? <laughs> that is what matters most to you? You are not allowed to- than shutting down the reactors? Than the future of the planet itself? Huh? Damn. You're lying to yourself even now. Truth, justice, honor, freedom. Vain indulgences everyone. Picture it. Picture a world without Shinra. Without Mako energy. A stagnant, impotent world. Now picture a natural disaster. Who would help the people? The help people. them recover and rebuild. You. The people With would help the people. old world ruined, will they thank you for the new? I'm going to give you a chance. <sighs> One last opportunity to consider what your principles are truly worth. But bear in mind that time is of the essence. And what about you, Mr. President? What are your thoughts and principles? He doesn't have any, but he never what claims to. 
Did you understand even a single word of what I told you? I know what I want, and I take it. I take advantage of whatever I can, and discard that which I cannot. There is no room for sentiment or guilt. Did he just get impaled? He just got impaled! <sighs> That's not an ordinary sword wound, though. You son of a bitch! Oh, jeez. No, hold on! Wait, what? Barrett. No! No, but... No. No! Wait. But, wait, what? 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 Excuse me, what? I... They did not! a dream weaver what is it doing it's altering reality or perception of it what show you what I can do they showed they showed they showed the no you go away why are you doing this is it because it's Aerith in particular is it targeting her with that She's still sassy. Allow me. Secret Shinra experimental specimen believed to induce hallucinations. So it's not not really a Sephiroth. 
Did we not see Barrett die? I don't understand. I'll deal with that. Okay, that thing doesn't seem like it's mostly coming to her. I just... I wouldn't be surprised... If... Can you take over for me? I wouldn't be surprised if it... Oh, no, 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 no we want to get away from there. I wouldn't be surprised if it, uh... Probably a bad idea. Reduced, huh? I just, like, I like that they have given the main theme of Final Fantasy VII the, uh, it's doing that again to everyone. They've given the, uh, the Final Fantasy VII main theme, the one with the angel treatment, with the full choir. Hold on. Sorry, I'm not gonna be seeing chat here. I mean, we're not we're not gonna do one of the comedic summons. Not for this fight. I've been dying to see you. <laughs> Go on. Okay, hold on. Spells. Cure. Yeah. Cloud. We could all use it, honestly. Stay strong, okay? Get him. Okay, let's try that again. Spells. Cura. That's what I meant to do. Okay, summon ability. Heavenly Strike. That sounds good. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. Except probably not that would be my guess. Oh, he sounds like that hurts. It's so it's my turn. This one's for you. Get him. Yeah, I hope that I hope yeah, that Distant yeah. World covers this version of this song, though. That would be really cool. I really like Distant Worlds. Oh, jeez. Let's not get in there. Vengeance, huh? Vengeance for... <laughs> Thank you, Tifa! Oh. I love... Tifa really is, like, in some ways, she's the girl next door, like... Aerith is half elf. Cloud has... Like... This... Oh, I forgot to do this. Don't let him stop us. Okay. Um. Oh, am I out of summon ability? Okay. Uh, what if we cure everybody again? You can do it. My turn. Like. Cloud got. Cloud was just the boy next door, but he got in over his head because of Zack. You can see the pores on her nose. The graphics. Until next time. Are ridiculous. Um, like Aerith's half elven. Uh, Barret, I don't know what Barret's history is, but he's like leading this. Hell no. But Tifa really feels she and Jesse, they could have just been like normal people, you know, in a normal world. Like more than. So it's my turn? Yes. Can you can you please cure no, not cure. Cura. No. No! I did it wrong! I'm sorry, Tifa. I'm sorry, Tifa, I'm a bad girlfriend. Its face is a skull wait. Thanatos denied, meaning de death denied. Thanatos is the god of death. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, so this is where in MMO world we would call this. I know this now. I'm very excited. Um, oh. 
Uh, well, she can't do much right now, so. Uh, Sorry, but you no, no. We would call this like you go after the ads. That's what these are called. Now that I know MMO stuff. Because they they join, I guess they add on to the boss. It just means like go after the minions when they show up. Are there more minions? There are more minions. There are a lot of them. Do I just kill the minions here? Dreams of quiet suit. I mean, like, whether Genova wanted to kill everybody and be hateful and violent and destructive at first or not, it has been tortured by Pojo for qu quite some time now. And whether it understood and related to humanity or not, at any point, like, it's not going to now. They just keep coming. Okay, hold on. Lauren, perhaps you should use what you've been given. It appears and squirms in a repugnant manner. Yes, okay. I recognize that part of that song. Is that that's that's Genova, right? That's the Genova theme, but it's not the main melody when people think of it. I think I think that's what I'm thinking of. Okay, so we still can't fight them. Do we have to like? Do we have to kill an entire alphabet's worth of tentacles? Oh my god! I have not been paying attention to my party. Please don't die. Take the lead. I'll I'll do what I can. Oh my god. Okay, hold on. Uh, please don't die. No need to panic. Thanks. Oh god, Aerith is so much better at casting. <laughs> Holy crap! Okay, you heal Tifa. Tagging out. Tifa, kill the tentacle. Until you get enough bar to bring our boy back. No, no, you got stopped. Okay, good. Somebody's healing him. Thanks, party. <sighs> like, am I just supposed no playing nice. to kill the tentacles? Okay. One more shot. Uh. Call lightning. That did not work. It has wall up. What am I supposed to do? I mean, heal, I suppose. What else am I supposed to? Okay. Okay, Lauren, use your brain. Go on. I wonder if this is what its home planet looks like. What am I supposed to do here? Well, we're just gonna, the tentacle numbering has restarted. We started the alphabet over. What else am I supposed to do with you? Okay, well you just cast flame, so somebody take the lead. One of the girls has ice. No. Blizzard! Blizzard, yes, blizzard. Wait. Did that work? Everybody's got their limit breaks. It was worth trying. I don't know why dolphins. What happens if I, can I, can I leave the arena? Can I just go? Yeah, this is, this is, this is its home planet, I think. That's it. Huh. What am I? One more shot. Steady. What do I? Stay okay, so it, dro it drips bits onto the ground. This one for you. 
This might take a while, folks, because I am not seeing what I'm supposed to be doing here. Oof. All right. Oh, hold on. Uh... There we go. Cure silence. Don't give up. Like, I don't think this is a scripted loss because it's just not doing enough damage and it's too easy for me to stay alive at this point. Unless, like, we're about to, I mean... What just happened to her? girls stay on top of healing each other we're gonna take all of these tentacles down i think i figured it out because some of those attacks went through and if that's the case That's not good. That's not good. That's not good. This is the song. This is the song. This is the thing that I was hearing. Oh, jeez. Don't get hit by the... Wow. I'm coming. Okay, you're going to... Oh, wait, hold on. Yeah. You can do it. Hang back. It, it, it's only appropriate. I know better. I know I know better. I know better. But I did it anyway. No, get out of there, Cloud. Oh, get out of there. Don't let it hit you with that stuff. Dreams of Sanctuary. See, that's what I'm that's what I'm getting at here. I feel like it is traumatized. You know? So Party because I don't think that, um, I, I feel like casting at it, maybe not specifically lightning, but I feel like casting at it has not been a good idea. Like, here is a creature that is not human or even humanoid. It doesn't speak a language we speak, like, it, it can't communicate with us. You know, and so it's giving us dreams, and we're like seeing its visions and its dreams. Like, that's all it, that's the only communication in a way that it has, you know? If that makes sense? 
Oh, that's not gonna be good for her. All right, Aerith, be prepared to cure Tifa. Oh, her. Uh. Uh. Yeah. Oh jeez, heal him, please. Uh. Oh, she got muted. That's not good. Let's not do that. Me. Maybe this. Okay. 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 <laughs> Um, uh, don't let Cloud die. One thing this game has taught me is to not panic when a single character dies, because that happens all the time here. Okay, now you're going to cure, uh, Tifa and Cloud. Don't let the black blood fall on you. I don't think that's a good thing. God, this music is good. Oh, that one is so good, and since she doesn't go anywhere. Like, at this point, I'm feeling, honestly, a degree of, like, sympathy and sadness for Genova. They haven't given me much to go off of, but... Oh, get out of there, Tifa. Oh wait, where did, where did, there you are. Yes, that is a well-named thing and I knew that was going to happen and I did it anyway because we're gonna focus on, we're gonna ignore the ads this time around. Uh, Aerith, can you just, just heal the party? Please, friend. Actually, I'd probably get by with just a cure. Tagging out. gonna get a limit break again, which would be pretty great. Okay, uh, try this again. Okay, Tifa, uh, we're just gonna keep doing this one because I like it. Okay. Quiet too, so that's gonna be silencing someone. the beginning of the vocal part of One Winged Angel. HQ, this is Appalachian Three One. We need to get on the pass to search for friendlies. Is Barrett still alive, guys? Yeah. <laughs> no! 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 Did it block the... that... Don't think so. Was it in... This death was not the one ordained for you by fate. Uh. Uh. Thanks. Like, they pointedly look at you before they go. <sighs> like, how much of all of that was an illusion? Was it an illusion? I don't know. like they didn't just kill Barrett. I know they didn't kill Barrett in the original. I know that. I know that. I know that. <sighs> There's
there's the party. Why is it not letting me? No, let, let, no, 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 let me go to my friends. Let me go to my friends, this showdown. I want to see my friends. I don't want to confront Sephiroth right now. Okay, well, we're gonna rest up. <sighs> yeah, so I'm not even looking at chat right now because I feel like we might be at the very end of the game. And so my policy is generally like in the final boss runs. You hear it? If I still remembered, I've done the one winged angel chorus, like I've sung that before. So Cloud has to go alone. But yeah, my policy is generally for endgame stuff to not look at chat, and I think we're at endgame. Man, if Avalanche is like, oh, this is all the passes we're gonna do, like, that's gonna suck for us. Where is he? They're all over the place. There's some serious trying to get everyone off track from, uh... Is Sephiroth trying to stop fate? Is he trying to... trying to go against... Oh, ha. Huh. There's one of these on the other side. I guess I better do some shopping while we're at it. Hi. Oh, yeah. Give me your best mega potions. And your best ethers. And... All the Phoenix Downs. 29 is definitely not enough. Sephiroth's trying to mess with fate. He very specifically stabbed Barrett, which was not allowed because fate did not decree it so. Wow, this is way up there. And he like he moves up faster. What are you doing, Sephiroth? Cloud, why are you doing Sephiroth. this? They're like, do not, do not, do not. See, 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 it's not really him. It's not really him. It's not really him. It's not really him. That's really cool, Cloud. You're really cool when you're not trying to be. I figured I would notice if I had one of those, but I, I don't. Do they have? He has he has moles on his arms, like 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 little like freckles and things. The level of detail is just incredible, just ridiculous. I want to go up there. Can I go up there? Can I go up there? Hopefully, this is not gonna like progress the story in ways that I don't want it to progress. <sighs> okay, so it's not actually Sephiroth. It's some sort of deranged essence of Sephiroth. That's sad. I I liked the real Sephiroth. I was surprised by how much I liked him. I think I talked about that during the Crisis Core stream. All right, I too can be super dramatic Looking over tall things, they're like, do not even think about jumping, Cloud Strife. Do not even get it into that pretty little pointy-haired head of yours. <sighs> this is, I think, literally the highest point in the city. Right here, right now. Follow this nice, pretty, healthy city. Look at that! Number six! Look at that! Number seven! Oh! <laughs> well. 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 <sighs> yeah.
I mean, I guess Cloud wants to know. I mean, frankly, like, Cloud doesn't ha Cloud has a lot of big holes. And he wants to have answers to those holes. Also, Sephiroth did just stab one of his friends. So, uh... But it's not actually Sephiroth, so he can't actually answer any of your questions, Cloud, because he doesn't know. He has no idea. He's not even a full, conscious, sentient person, as far as I can tell. It's like the echo of a Sephiroth superimposed over... Kingdom Hearts Organization 13 or something. Everyone okay? Hmm. Hey, get your man. Got his sunglasses off. He got away. Oh. About time we made our escape too. Hmm. Is this the end of the game? Is this the end of the game? <gasps> Excuse me, what? Is it the Turks? Is it the Turks? Turks, Turks. Turks. Shit. Hmm. Now what? Just go, go fight them! Just go fight them! Go! Go hit what do them! Do this personally, boss. That's the turn. <laughs> That's not a turk. <laughs> Who's the evil pretty boy? If it ain't Rufus Shinra, Thanks, Barrett. To the throne himself. Yep. He's gonna go kill his dad, isn't he? Is when you want to do this yourself. He's gonna go kill his dad and take over. He's gonna pull a he's gonna pull a war of succession thing. Isn't he? Isn't he? There's gonna be a political takeover thing we've got going on right now. Stop. <gasps> the hell I will. We can finish off the family here and now. Take Aerith and get out of here. <laughs> yeah, they can't get Aerith. I'll buy you guys some time. I can stay here. Back you up. This is actually not a bad Barrett. idea. I'm asking you. This is not a bad idea, Cloud. Please. <sighs> oh. oh. Fine. Did you see look on his face? Way, then. But you better be right behind us. I have healing equipped on Cloud, don't I? Yeah, they can't they can't get Aerith. Like, they can't have Aerith. Like, that actually makes sense. And frankly, Cloud can do this. Like, it's been established. Cloud can do this. Also, this kind of parallels... You're a soldier, aren't you? Zack. Which, of course, would mean that I own you. Oh, okay. Well, I hate him Back already. Soldier. I quit. Secure the others. Don't you dare! Don't you dare! Oh my god. Turks. Just the two of us. You've got a dog. That doesn't count as two. Well, maybe three. Let's get this over with. No. <laughs> Oh my god, okay, that's actually really cool. I don't even mind that this is like half cutscene. No, no. Yeah, no, oh my god. Dark Star is a cool name. Isn't that a David Bowie album? Triple slash them! I don't- I don't like what- ever a little thing he's using to control his dog, though. His, like, little, like, electricity... Leash. No. Dark Star is singing. That's probably not good for me, is my guess. Okay, good. I- I do have cure on myself. That's very important, folks. Deep. Ready. Ready. He's, like, actually got commands! That's that's so cool. That's so cool. 
He said heal, so I was like, okay, he's he's holding his dog close to him, so I should not approach. Yeah, they are like, you can feel what a trained team they are, you know? Like he has he has trained this up with his dog. I'm sorry, pup. I'm sorry for everything that's happened to you. I hope he at least somehow treated you well. I doubt it. I have no intention of losing this fight. <laughs> Excuse me, Rufus, are you cheating? Are you allowed to do that? Okay. It's very, very clever. Very clever work. That is not good. I'm super glad Barrett is okay. I was gonna say, like, we didn't even get into Barrett's story. Like, I don't know what his deal is. You can't kill him. Oh, hostile. Okay. Think you got my number? Not at all. You're making me sweat. Huh. Good thing I came prepared. What stupid showy thing are you about to do? Oh my god, what are you, Revolver Ocelot? <laughs> Did he just split his gun in half? Hold on, we're gonna, we, I forgot that I need to like, get some info on these two. All right, Darkstar, what is your deal? Okay, no, I'm serving one off breed, specially enhanced by the R&D division. We'll die to protect him. Yeah, that's probably gonna come up. Okay, let's, we gotta, Ah! Okay, so we should probably heal. And then we're going to assess Rufus. Oh my god, Rufus! Rufus! The, the names of his moves. He's, he's totally... And only slightly less uncool revolver also on. I really... This fight is so so well choreographed like there are not many games and not many fights where you have like an actual fight like the actual like in mechanics not cutscene game fight that feels choreographed this feels choreographed and that's awesome that's so cool okay maybe i should maybe i should take out the dog first Like, you can't tell me that that's not the sort of move that that Ocelot would do, or a liquid stink. No! Rufus Shinra is a cross between Liquid Snake and Revolver Ocelot! I'm never gonna take you seriously again, buddy! I'm sorry, folks. Ah, shoot, that's not good. Bad follow up for me. Yeah, he saw where I was going. Was Cloud yelling at me for not doing a good enough job? This is not a super easy fight. Uh, so we're just gonna do our best to uh, not die. Let's see how that goes. Second. He has to like, he even like, the thing he does with his hair, come on. You can't tell me I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Right, I totally, I've totally got it. Like, I'm sorry, pup. Sorry, pup. Hold on, no, no, get the get the dog while it's down. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, dog, I'm sorry. I, ha I don't want to have to do this. Because if I can just take out the dog, even if I soak some damage doing so. Did it? Whoo, okay. Okay. 
Okay. Feeling good, yeah. Okay, we can do this. Just take down the dog and then limit break Rufus. Oh my god. I don't think I don't think you can dodge that. I think I think I think I the only way I could not get hit by that is if I did things that I don't do, like <laughs> block. I'm gonna get the dog shortly. Sorry, pup. I'm sorry. Oh, oh! He's dismissing his dog before his dog no, dies. Just the two of us. Point in his favor. Yes, yes. Oh my god! Somebody send me the head of Rufus Shinra because he's gonna go. Oh my god! Oh my god, this dialogue is great. Also, where does he go on the scale? How far does he go on the scale? Where did Liquid and Ocelot go? On the scale. Because he's gotta be... I mean, he hasn't monologued, but... God, he's fast, though. Oh, shut up! Shut up, Rufus! Where were we? Oh my god, you sass pants! I'm gonna wind up swearing at you, just you wait! <sighs> it's gonna be because of his attitude, not even his difficulty in combat. Okay, hold on. Let's see if we can cure just a gentle cure. Okay, that worked. That was good. Okay, that's the time to... He's definitely had some sort of Mako alterations. Can we look at his eyes, actually? I still think he's going to seize the throne. I still think he's here to assassinate his father and seize the throne. I don't know why, but... Oh, shut up, Rufus! Oh my god, you rat! I want. Oh, wait! Oh, reload is a good time to hit him. Okay. I just need to heal. You'll like me. Oh, will I? I need to do the deadly dodge thing. I think that, that this would be where I would want it. Okay, hold on. Okay, hold on. Yeah, Sephiroth mode is not gonna do me much good here. He's too fast. He kind of makes me think of fighting, uh, fighting Rino? Oh, I thought maybe I could get in closer to that. Okay, so you can interrupt him. So you, if you interrupt him, he'll retaliate by shooting you, but he doesn't do whatever big thing he was gonna do. Yeah, okay, so that's a fair trade-off. That's good to know. I'm gonna run out of magic eventually. No, I'm trying to- excuse me, do you mind? Did I heal? Oh my god, he's, he's got rocket shoes, doesn't he? It's his little shoesies. Okay, Cloud does not approve of how I'm doing this. Look at his little, like, he's got like little wheelies, but they've got little rocket boosters. I'm, I told you, like, I'm not gonna take this guy seriously. Sorry, Rufus. You are a big old dork. And I'm going to attack you distantly to see if I can not get shot by you because you retaliate. No? We're going to do this. I guess I should probably... Darn it! Ugh. I should probably use my, my limit break, actually, shouldn't I? Okay, limit. Ascension on Rufus. Nothing personal. Oh, I, I think plenty personal. That was pretty good. Oh, shut up, you butt! Alright. Okay, hold on. 
What happens if you electrocuted Rufus Shinra? Oh, he's strong to that one, huh? I should have had fire. I could set him on fire. Look at his stupid little shoes! You little dum-dum! I'm sorry. <laughs> We're having a cool guy fight. Can't you tell? No, I should probably use... Uh, ether? Sure. He reloads, I reload. He reloads, I reload. Okay. So staying at a distance seems good. It seems like if you're going to hit him, you should make sure you do enough damage to be worth what he's gonna do in, re in like, retaliation. So, like, you, like, go closer to him, and then you do, like, braver? Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on! Or you just do this a whole bunch, we can do this, this is good! Come on, Cloud. Yeah, see, because every time he does that. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm actually feeling pretty good. I feel like I just strategized my way through this one. I don't even need Kira. Get out of the- oh, okay, fine. Oh, he's too far away. Oh! Keep it up. I will keep it up, thank you. I'm doing just fine against you. You silly looking silly head. Oh no, he's trying to shoot at me with his go. Oh. That kind of ruined that one, didn't it? Oh, I ran into the wall. Okay. Oh, what? Did he not get hit by that? Sorry, this is going to be a, a slow Dark Souls style fight now. And I hope you're alright with that, folks. Yeah, see, he does that. Ah, yeah, figured. Where were we? Uh, you... Doing, how, how many how many times does he have to do that before he reloads? Oh, okay, hold on. Ah, shoot! He's like, yes, that is in fact a verb to describe what I do. I'm sorry, Cloud. I'm sorry I let you down. It's okay, Cloud. I'm working on it. I think we might heal with items for a little bit, maybe? Um, what kind of healing items do I have? 1500? That seems like a decent amount. Come on. Okay, hold on. Yes. I'm sorry if this is terribly anticlimactic. <laughs> Um, we were me about to hit you with this. Yes, 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 yes. Strategy, folks. That is strategy. It may be a simple one, but it works. Okay. I figured you out, sir. And I'm not afraid of you. Uh uh. I can soak that, that's no big deal. Okay. Abilities, come on, come on, come on. Oh, he's gonna be gone by this. Darn it, okay. Look, it was worth a try. Two, three. And then we go here, and we do it like this. Yes, come on, Cloud, don't let me down. Yes! Thank you, Cloud! I, I could end this, here and now. No, not quite. 
Tonight marks a new beginning. For Shinra. They're gonna he's gonna pin it on. What are you? Okay, they're not gonna kill Cloud. They're not gonna kill Cloud. He's the main character. They're not gonna kill Cloud. His voice actor souls that that physically hurts to hold on like that, though. Put your sword on your back. Oh, jeez. They're not gonna kill Cloud. They're not gonna kill Cloud. How- what- You gotta be better than this. If you're gonna play the hero. <sighs> that's really cute. Oh, that smile! Did you see that smile? No. Okay. <sighs> okay. Think they can manage on their own? You've seen them both in action. You know they can. Besides... <sighs> What was that? Not good. Whatever it is. Gotta believe they made it out. I hope so. Damn it. Hey. Screw it. We gotta go pay. Hey. What, Red? Get down! <laughs> oh my god. Okay, who put a gun robot in the elevator next to us? We're cool. Everything's cool. Okay, ah! let's be okay. You better be okay. If you die after all this, I'm gonna be so mad. <laughs> uh, it! Like it's not quite comic relief, but it's the the way they did that slow down there like was almost like there's it's some sort of a relief moment. Okay. Okay. I love you, Wedge! He's For trying kids. so hard! And Barrett too. He's gonna try to- I'm sorry, Cloud. Just tell me that, that I made a difference. They did not. They did not! Oh my god. If they did that unnecessarily, I mean... So help me, there was no reason to do that! They didn't need to do that. Hey, still in one piece. I don't agree with that decision. Yeah, somehow. I don't agree with that decision. That was not a good decision. You needed to keep him alive. There's no reason to kill him there. From a story perspective, you didn't have to do it. I'm okay with games making me hurt, but they I get really mad if I think they did a bad job with it. And this is why we didn't strip all of the materia off of Barrett. I like that it told me I just went down a floor. Open wide! Thanks, Barrett. Yeah, unfortunately, my character who is strong against punching people is in this party, and my character who's good at cutting robots in half is in the other party. But you know, what the hell? It's the barrier. Attack the drones. Okay. Well, fortunately for me. Aerith, please keep me alive. It looks like it's charging up. It's right on. I'll blow it to beat. Ha ha. Ha ha. Can you tell I've uh, I've played a game where you had to hide behind barriers and stuff before? What are we doing? Okay, Aerith, try not to die. Oh, that's not what I meant to do, but I'm probably gonna be glad I did that. Yeah, I'm glad I did that. <laughs> Aerith, please keep me from dying. I'm going to... The Arsenal is such a great name. Jeez. Oh, did it just 
Oh my god, it destroyed my cover! Okay, Aerith, I need you to heal him now. Okay, turn that off and cure Barrett. Maybe we should put Regen okay. on Barrett. It's your turn. I'm just soaking it. I steal skins. That's why I'm soaking it. We'll see if that's a bad idea or not. But it's what it. What have you got? Chocobo and Moogle. Sure! Maximum chaos! I'm all for this. Well, they're supposed to fat chocobos, actually. Maximum chaos. But this is pretty chaotic. Alright. Main cannon. Yes, take out the main cannon. So it's my turn. Okay, you're going to cure him. Oh, we're gonna. Can you take down. over for me? That was the right decision. Ah! It's right arm. Excuse me. I don't, I, I'm not quite sure what I'm doing. Well, I'm a... <laughs> he ran for... He ran... Okay. Um, alright. Stay strong, okay? What is, what is happening? Oh, it's doing that. Don't do that. Okay, hold on. Uh, let's, like, summon... Soul drain? No, fleeting familiar. There's a weak spot? Where's the weak spot? Okay, hold on. Summon ability. Chocobo kick. I thought there was a weak spot. I guess there wasn't. I'll show you what I can do. Will you? right on. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Spell Thund Thundara on th there. How shocking. Oh my god, that did not do what I thought it would do. Well, that's fine. I'm beginning to figure this fight out. You have to actually reason your way through these, which I appreciate. Okay, hold on. Try not to die. Please try not to die. Barret. Take cover. Oh. Okay, let's go over here. Let's let's shoot the drone. Bang bang indeed. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Abilities. Focus shot on the main cannon. Okay, that was cannon versus cannon, and I don't know how effective it was, but I, uh, I tried it. Ah, okay. Aerith, so please, please keep him from dying. Thank you. Now, okay. It it's your turn. Okay. Hold on. What? The drones are... Come on, kill the drone, kill the drone. Okay. A what? You big old jerk! I'm glad that Red is here to uh, explain things. Uh, I think I should probably hide behind that. No, it's right arm. Okay, hold on. Gun versus gun. Yeah. Oh my god, did he just limit break at it? I don't know, but it's awesome. You're awesome, friend. Okay, 
Okay, Aerith, you're gonna uh, keep him from dying again. That's largely her job in this fight, is to hide. Oh, your main cannon's undead now. Okay, let's uh, hide here. Okay, cool. That was good. That was good. Haha, <laughs> gun versus gun! Yeah! Yeah! This is very satisfying. Oh, it's throwing a temper tantrum. This isn't good. Ah, uh, no! I don't like that. I don't like that. Get away from my caster, you jerk! Um... I guess I'll take out the wheels. Okay, that's not good. Okay, you're gonna heal the party. This is... So, them not, um... This is probably overkill. No, no, he's got more health than I realized. Oh jeez. You can do it. Aha. It is not staying back, Aerith. Come after me, not her. Yeah. Oh shoot, 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 no! No! Don't you dare! Don't you dare! Don't you dare! Uh-uh! takes damage. Oh, limit break. Limit break. Limit break on the catastrophe. Sure. Oh, limit break cat catastrophe is the limit break I haven't put. Oh man, it just got blown. Oh, that was probably not the right time or place to use it. Well, whatever. I did it. I should have used it on the weak spot, shouldn't I? Well, I didn't. Now we know. Shoot! Well, uh, Aerith, don't let him die, please. I guess she could probably use the healing too, but whatever. Did you just say it's fun healing? Aerith, you are a silly little person sometimes, you know that? Nailed on abilities, maximum period in the main cannon. Gun versus. Oh, shoot. Okay, uh, Aerith? Yes, it is, and you are going to keep us both from dying this time. I got lasered. No! Oh, no, 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 Oh, that was not so good. Please don't do that. I don't like that. Oh, jeez. Okay, that's bad. Okay, you're going to cure him again. Barrett has so much health. Hold on. No, no, Barrett. Barrett, 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 Barrett. Please, Barrett, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, honey. Wake up, wake up. Yes, 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 yes,
Uh, I don't think that was enough. I don't think that was soon enough, but... We don't want that. Aerith, I'm sorry. I'm not keeping you alive very well, am I? Oh, it's coming. We don't want that. No! Oh my god, it destroyed that! This is not good. Oh my god. Aerith, please keep us from dying. Uh... Yeah. Bless them with your love and grace. Thank you. That was pretty handy. Come on, main cannon me. Main cannon me. No, not multi discharge. Cannon. Cannon. Use your gun arm. I want to use my gun arm and you. No, not secondary fire. Not firewall. I mean, okay, guess whatever. That's fine. I don't care. I'm not on fire. I don't care. I. You stop that, you. Jerk pants, use the gun that I want to hit. No, you saw that! Oh my god! I'm coming. It's like it figured out that that wasn't an effective tactic. Okay. Why don't you lead the way? I guess I should probably not just stand up. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna steal skin. I'm probably glad I steal skins. Why is it not using its good gun that I wanted to use? Why are you not using the right gun on me, you big old jerk pants? Ugh. You've got this. Cause I'm gonna limit break you when you do. I'm gonna limit break you when you use it. Oh yes, 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 yes. Oh, geez, oh geez, oh geez, I missed it, 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 I missed it. Hold on. What? Oh, I did. Well, that's what I get for trash talking. It would be nice if it just went away. Not having a great day. I do like that the fire like actually stays on the field. Like I think that's really interesting. It makes it an interesting encounter. Oh yes, 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 yes. Do this, do this, do this, do this. Come on. It's probably not the right thing, but whatever. I did it. I did it. It took damage. Could have been worse. No. No. Okay, I managed to avoid that. I'm pretty good at dealing with its things. Whatever. You're going down. Gun versus gun, my gun did not win. Okay. Well, that could have gone better. Uh, first priority is you keeping Barrett from dying. Stay back. Oh, she uh, she tanked that one for me. Sorry, sorry, friend. She, she ran for cover. That was smart. Okay, hold on, Aerith. I'll show you what I can do. Can you cure the party? Oh. All right. First, you're gonna do that, and then we're gonna give you some items. Yeah, item usage. I guess I shouldn't be surprised if that happens. What? You leave her alone, you jerk. Uh, you know, I'm gonna. I'm gonna just take out your wheels, and uh, you're gonna do this, and then you're going to use uh, an ether on yourself. This one, get him. Oh, probably should have used more than one ether. Get out of the way. Oh, jeez, that wasn't good. Okay, now you can cure the party. So I hope this isn't super boring for uh, everybody else. Um, that I'm like not looking at chat as I do this, but hopefully you'll have fun anyway. Can you take over for me? 
Okay. I want to take out its wheels. At least one of its wheels, but I haven't been able to concentrate. No, concentrate your fire on one of the wheels. Oh my god. Okay, hold on. We're gonna try... Yeah, we're gonna try taking out... Oh, I've only taken out one of the wheels. Oh my god. I'll show you what I can okay, do. good. Did she heal herself? Please have healed yourself. Okay, she should probably use a healing... Or a, 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 an, an elixir shortly. Once, once she gets her bar back. Is she fighting it? Get out of there, Earth. Get out of there. Friend. No, not the left rear wheel. Oh, this isn't good. I don't think I want this. Oh my god, you took down the pillar! Okay, first of all, let's hope that's not a load-bearing pillar. Okay, um... What did it even just do? Okay, um... First... What else do I have potions for? No need to panic. Oh, that's not as effective as I wanted it to be. I'm Okay, hold on. Music is so good. This is not good. Okay, hold on. Like it actually, this is actually, I think, a, a fight that I have to basically tank with him. Oh shoot, I thought I was avoiding that. That's okay. All right. You can do it. I want to take out one of its wheels, but I only taken out one of its wheels and it didn't do anything. God, steel skin is really good. No? Okay, the pulse cannon I probably don't want to get hit by. So I'm going to hide back here. We're both going to hide back here. Aerith? Are you hiding? Okay, hold on. I think I've got no choice but to like... Just keep shooting. Okay. Okay, hold on. You're, yeah, you need to keep him alive. He has so much health. Okay, hold on. Uh, abilities, maximum fury. Uh... Okay, okay, so when it's down... Oh, that doesn't sound good. I don't think I want the physical defense. Okay, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh my god, this is gonna- this is like our last chance to not get hit by this. Jeez. Yeah. Oh my god, did we take- did I take damage for that too? I'm so mad. Okay, hold on. Okay. 
Maximum Fury on the wheel. We take the wheel out. Okay, Aerith, you cure him, keep him alive. Can you take over for me? Yeah, this is just—I'm just gonna—I'm gonna feel this one, but whatever. We're just gonna keep at it. I'm just like. Oh no 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 no. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, did, oh, it sends out five now. That's why I was getting hit by it. Because it had a pattern. I don't know if you saw, but it had a pattern with three. Like, in like a like a, a V with something in the middle. And I was like... Oh, jeez, oh, jeez, oh, jeez, oh, jeez, oh, jeez, oh, jeez. No, no, run, 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 run. Okay, so they give me a couple other chances. Okay, you know, while I'm doing this, I'm going to... I'm going to be smart. Okay, do you see that? That was some good use of time, wasn't it? Because it's I just like immediately got this back, so. Okay, let's do steel, steel skin. I should have done steel skin while that was going on, but whatever. Oh my god, it's staggered. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Yes! Oh my god, that was very satisfying. Obliterating laser, what? No, 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 and also no. Well, let's not do that. Aerith, honey, coming. can you heal the party? Actually, can you use your limit break? No, you don't, you're not quite there yet. You're almost there. Okay, it's your turn. Oh, just homing laser, Psh, whatever. I'm not afraid of you. Uh, abilities, focus, shot, minute, max. Okay, so we're gonna hide back here. Where is she? Is she hiding? I hope she's hiding. She better be hiding, otherwise we're gonna be in trouble, because she's our healer. No, you knew that was gonna happen. Okay. Oh, oh, great, Aerith. You ran in here with me. Great. Okay. Well, um, we're gonna steal skin, and we're gonna stand in front of her and tank this. Aerith, get back here! <sighs> okay. Yes, you stay back here and healing with us. I like it. You can you can cut off that longer animation if you want to by just switching to the character, which sometimes kind of ruins the like pacing of the coolness of it. Okay, let's see how many of those. Okay, we did it. Okay. Okay. Oh no 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 no. Oh. I suppose it could be worse. Okay. Uh, abilities. Uh. Did that actually, did that actually work? I don't know, but I did it. Okay, hold on, can I? No, I can't. Okay, I don't know what I'm supposed to do now. The arena is open. Okay, okay, Aerith, uh, you're gonna, you're gonna cure Barret so he doesn't Stay strong, okay? die when this thing Why don't you lead the way? shoots him. Okay. Well, that happened, and is not good. Um. So. Okay. Hold on. Okay. If I limit break it, the laser cannon. We'll see if this works. I don't know that it was ever part of the planet, friends. Don't shoot her! Oh my god. 
Okay, you are going to go after, I mean, at least it's low on health. No, 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 no. Okay, hold on. Uh, I'm going to heal her. This is not enough. I'm sorry. I don't think I have any other healing items that are better, but hopefully it'll buy a little time. No. Oh, no. Okay, as long as we're, like, we need to not both be in line when it does that. I'll take care of them. Okay, uh... Why don't you leave what the happens line? if he... Oh. Okay, well, worry, I, uh... This would be a good time to have cure, like, I'm life, here. too. Oh my god, it just, like, cuts, like, half the arena apart. Okay, um... You do your best friend. Okay. I don't know what the best use of my time here is. Probably making sure that she can... You know, I should just use one of those super elixirs. Okay. Okay, I should definitely go after its its wheels. I guess. Oh, 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 oh! Oh, 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 oh. Did he not do it? This one's for you. Oh, he is doing it. Okay. That was that was in fact. That was the man doing the thing. Okay, excellent. Then he kept it occupied enough for me to do that. Okay, that's not good though. Somebody's gonna die here. Okay. Oh no, Aerith, 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 get out of there, out of get out of there, get out of there. No, no, don't lead it! Oh no! Can you take over for me? Yes. Okay, hold on. Okay, items Phoenix down on her. Hopefully, this will turn out okay. We still got a job to do. Okay, and then immediately items Mega Potion on Aerith. Give them hell. I'll take care of them. And then, oh, I could limit break. Wow, that would actually be unnecessary right now. Be overkill. Okay. One more shot. Okay, now we're going to heal him. I think we might be able to get away with a regular cure. Oh, now we need a bigger cure. Um, okay, so you are going to maximum fury the wheel. Oh, jeez. Okay, that's not good. Oh, I should have healed him. This isn't good. This isn't good. This is not good. I like that it's like animated moves like have like names and stuff. And that it's based on what it's... Oh jeez. Can we even reach any debris to take cover behind? Oh, okay. They, re they, they, they gave more debris for me to hide behind. Okay. Can you take over for me? I sure can and will. I will do my best. Okay, hold on. Okay. Okay, so it's got no other parts. We can't hide. What do we do? Stop its attack. Okay. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna die. There's no way I'm gonna survive this. So it's my turn. Okay, spells. Dandara, sure. Do we? Do we have this? I don't know that we do. Why don't you lead the way? <sighs> yeah. Does it feel good to be alive? I would need to sit down too after that, but Quiet. fortunately, but we can still die I'm already tonight. sitting. Nah. Cloud and Tifa could be dead already. Red. Red, you're not helping, friend. We need to find a way we can all escape. 
quickly. You're right. Let's go. <sighs> what is going on? Did we did we steal some stuff? Are we going to be impersonating Shinra goons? What's going to happen? All right. Checking our time. We're doing all right. I will say, even though, like, the headquarters has kind of been padded by having us go, like, up and down and up and down and through the Hojo lab and stuff, it hasn't felt bad or unnecessary or anything. Like, it makes sense why we do what we do. Like, yes, I know that they're, like, raising the tension with each time we try to do something and get stopped and have to go another way. But it's like, one thing, it's like it's super effective to come down here and remember being here with the boys and Tifa. All we gotta do now is find the others. <laughs> oh, jeez. Shades of Zack's final stand. There aren't as many this time, but also... Who is this? Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. We have them surrounded, sir. I don't yes, like you. I can see that. I don't like you. It was only a matter of time. Here we are. <laughs> so then, what is this ragtag group of misfits I see before me? Your worst Avalanche. nightmare. Local florist. <laughs> Lab rat dog. <laughs> I love and them. where are the rest of them? I love them all. Up your ass. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Charming. Though not what I would have chosen as my last. Oh my word. god, it's so Secure good. Secure the ancient. But feel free to kill both the idiot and the dog. Amazing. I love them. I love them. I don't know how we're gonna get out of this one, but I love them. Oh my god. Come on. You saved my mom. You're not gonna die, Barrett. They already killed no. you. It's time I return the favor. Wait! That sounds like a motorcycle. <laughs> Enter the main theme of Final Fantasy VII and Cloud on a motorcycle. For some reason, how did he get a motorcycle? He's just mowing him down. My god. Cloud. He's just hitting all of them with his motorcycle. Did he do this in the original? I mean, riding a motorcycle into. Oh my god, is motorcycle gonna come after us? Oh my god, I'd be really excited. Stop them, you fools! Don't let them escape! Whatever, we're gonna run you over. Do we look scared? Do we look scared? No, we have the power of friendship right here, and you don't have any friendship, Heidegger. You don't have any friends. You won't have any friends as long as you're evil and bad. So, take a motorcycle to the face. I'm gonna punch you in the face with my motorcycle. I've never said that one before. Let's roll. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Amazing you that we just got you chairs for some reason that I threw. I threw chairs down and knocked those chairs over and now my characters are destroying. That's amazing. Look at how little we care about your furniture, Shinra HQ. <laughs> oh, oh no. It's okay, buddy. Just, just, just step out of the way. Step out of the way. Step out of the way. Cloud. Okay. Cloud goes on the drama scale. For that move. And that move alone. <laughs> but it's also really sweet. I mean, also, he, we, we know that he was one of those guys. But also, he wanted to save that guy's life. Also, this is pretty cool. Yes. Okay, Final Fantasy VII. Yes, this is a cool move. 
Coal people flying out of windows on motorcycles and landing on highways as part of their fantastic getaway from the evil... I entered a blocked scene? What does it mean by I entered a blocked scene? What is, what is happening? Oh, okay. <clears throat> Cannot screenshot now. All right. Hi, Home folks. Free, Having fun? I wouldn't celebrate just yet. Man, you need to lighten up. Back to not looking at chat, sorry. Hell, you might even try smiling. On second thought, I maybe he frowning noise. suits you better. Hey, don't pout. <laughs> Look. Destiny's Crossroads. Oh, we've got another chapter. Are you serious? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Are you guys seeing this? <sighs> Destiny's Crossroads means that there's multiple ways for fate to go right now. So we got away and now we're not allowed to go back. Fate has decreed that it's okay for us to launch motorcycles. Whispers. Could anything with Sephiroth have made sense if I hadn't played Crisis Core? I feel like it wouldn't have. Psst, Turks. What is all this? <sighs> he kind of looks like Cypher. A little. Doesn't he? I think Cypher's got blonde hair. Is Cypher the blonde one? Man, if they let him get through whatever, but they kill Wedge, I'm so mad. I'm, I, I'm, I honestly disagree with that decision. Wrong, I'm sir. so mad. Oh. Cell phone call. What is going on? He's kind of got... Boy, does he have a Nomura design. Look at those, like, Lulu-esque belt skirt things. What are you doing? What is happening? Very good. <sighs> the men are on standby, sir. Your orders. Bring them in. Who's them? Us? It's like the whole damn building's made of them. Who is them? I swear he's gonna kill his dad, but who's them? I don't understand. What are they doing? Who knows? Wedge, you don't think he got caught up in it, do you? <sighs> if he did, I hope he's okay. <sighs> Maybe they pushed him to safety. Maybe he's They're gonna coming. be okay. Who? Electric guitars. This we don't need. Time to go. Okay, we'll see if I remember how to play this. I assume I'm on the motorcycle and I have to keep them safe. Cloud, when did you get so good at motorcycling? Did I ask that last time? I wonder if this new motorcycle is going to show up. I don't know that he would fit tonally. He's honestly, I mean, granted, Rufus is also pretty Kojima-esque. Oh, that guy's dead. Then again, these guys don't have the like wear new newcomer baby um, armor. They're they're red. I'm so glad I don't have to do this fight. 
showing off your like movie making skills. We're all very impressed with you, Square. Okay, now I'm. Come on, step on it. I'm trying, but it won't go any faster. How the hell we get saddled with this junk? Where are you? There you are. Okay. How do I how do I go faster? How do I go faster? Do I have a faster button? I do have a faster button. Okay, hold on. Okay, how do I hit the how do I hit with the other sword the other hand? Well, I guess I'm just gonna have to hit you from this side. <laughs> I, I think that's probably not what I'm supposed to do, but I don't remember how to actually do this. I think I had this trouble last time too. Ah! Okay, 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 I got it, I got it. Oh, it's, it's the, the, the button on the right makes him hit to the right and the button on the left makes him hit to the left. This is my favorite sort of control scheme. I'm very excited about this. It went from being super unintuitive to uh yeah. red stop stop sassing me red I did that, Red. Oh my god, why are you giving me driving lessons? Do you do you have a driver's license? Do you have a driver's license, Red? I don't think you do. Stay out of the line of fire. Oh my god. Stop sassing me, friend. So there's a finite amount of time that you can use your power engine. Do you hear the wailing electric guitars? I assume that those of you who know me knew that you were going to get asked that question a lot tonight. It's not my fault. Do you hear the electric guitars? Yeah! Blow up there! Hold on. Oh jeez, no, get on the other side. That guy had more health. Okay, no, don't you dare hurt my friends, no. I'm coming for you, I'm coming for you. Do we look like we're gonna stop? No, we're, we're not, no. Okay. Okay. I think we got the tank. Do we get the tank? Uh, well, that clears the road for us. Thank you. Good job. They don't know what the lesson is, but sure. Firing warning shot. Oh good, a helicopter. That chopper is all mine. I'll bring it down real quick. Well you better get that get on that friend then, please. Watch yourself. I'm trying. It looks like they're like doing this based on I'm counting on you. Cloudy, here. Where? Oh, thank you. <laughs> It's the bombing mission theme. Oh, jeez. Okay. Don't Come give on. up now, you guys. Oh my god. So we, we, we had the bombing the bombing mission as we as we came to Shinra HQ. Now we are listening to the same song as we leave Shinra HQ. Pretty great. What? 
Hold on. No. 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 Okay, well, I'm gonna stay in line with you guys. What? What is it? Oh my god! Bot. Tell me what you can do. It's a little weird how they're using like their regular um their re their regular battle things. Some of them work better than others, but that doesn't look good. How do I do that? Do, can I block? Do I have a block button? I don't know what. I do. Do I look like I block things? No, I. You're lucky I dodge. That is an improvement. Oh jeez. Ugh. What is this? An escapee from a Mega Man X game? Yes, and you can't tell me otherwise. You keep your guard up. I'm really good at trash talking. It's on you. Right. Oh, I need to let my I need to let my engine get better. Oh jeez. Oh no, Tifa's taking damage. Why is it not taking more damage? I don't know how! Tell me- oh, oh, wait, 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 hold on. There's a button. Long range? What? Hold on. Oh, I didn't- okay, sorry, I, my, my screen was in the way of that. Oh, it has to charge up. Okay, I see. Are they gonna charge it? Microphone went the wrong way. I hit it. Closing my screen. I couldn't see the corner of the screen because the the screen of my laptop. Uh. Good luck. Where, 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 where are they? Where is he? There he is. Oh no, no, wrong button, wrong button, Lauren, wrong button. Charge of, keep track of. Okay. Ain't done yet. Okay, I'm trying really hard. Oh my god! Enough trouble with this, you didn't have to give another bot. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm having some trouble here, folks. I guess this one's kind of like a mini boss thing. Oh, you can see the damage coming out of its core, though. It's having some trouble. I could probably use some healing. Red, please heal me. Well, you all right? Thank you. Also heal yourself. Get down. Oh my god. Are you serious? Him again. 
Are they trying to save us? Because we don't die here. Oh, good. Of course we do. All right, Lauren, do you remember how to do this? Thank you. Why are they using swords? Oh jeez. Unfortunately, I guess I'm going slow enough that they thought that I was going to be there, but I wasn't. I'm sorry. Oh, I should have jumped there. I thought that would have been good. I don't know what that would have accomplished. They could have done it. I'm very graceful in... Hey, I'm doing so much better in this than I usually do in mounted sections. Maybe? I need motorcycles instead of instead of horses. This is kind of what I'm getting out of this. Whatever. Did I take? I did take that damage. They just added electric guitars. Makes everything better. Do you hear the person who did the arrangements for this game's music knows what's cool. Honestly, the people who worked on this game know what's cool. Like the coolness. Okay, I got him. No! Nope. Sorry. I'm having some trouble here, friends. Alright. That is one way of dealing with your problems. No, that's not good. We don't want that. Oh my god! Okay, so he's gonna punch the helicopter in the face with his sword. We're like setting all sorts of new records here, folks. Amazing. Amazing. Sorry if the audio's been weird during this section. I hit my microphone and I hadn't reset it. <laughs> Please heal me, thank you. Now please heal yourselves. So now they're on our side. No. The whispers intervene, not to defend us, but to preserve the flow of destiny. I think we're gonna have to by the end of the Crisis Core series, we are going to win against Destiny. It just things are gonna suck until then. What are what is that? What is it? Oh my god. Okay, there's a look to their robots. Having the characters trash talk each other like that is actually really pretty charming. Alright, come on, Cloud. That's that wasn't good. Oh, okay, I want to be closer. Oh, if I hit a button for the long range version. Okay. I'm focusing, I'm focusing, I'm focusing! I can't tell how close I am! I'm trying. I'm trying, guys. Show me what you can do! I'm trying! I'm hitting the button! I'm hitting the button! Is it even taking damage? I feel like it's not. You can do it. Don't give up now, guys. Oh, oh, oh! You want the glowy? You want the, the wheels that are glowing? Got it. Okay, I was, I was targeting the wrong wheels. Okay. That requires more precision than I have, game. Keep up the pressure, okay? I'm working on it. I'm trying. I'm trying. Oh. 
Are you healing me? Are you healing? Hang in there, okay? I'm having hey, a really hard time. I know! I'm having a hard time with controls, Barrett! Barrett, I can't do controls on mounted segments. It's not my fault. Okay. Still got some fight in you. Yes, I'm coming over here because I figured out how I'm supposed to play this. I know, 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 I know. Oh my god. I know, I know. Oh my god. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh my god. It's facing the wrong way. No! I don't know what to do! Why am I so bad at controls on mounted sections? I just, I can't, I can't understand. I'm not panicking, I'm just... No, no, no. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying, guys. Oh, I'm gonna take damage. I'm on fire. Oh, jeez. Oh my god. I'm dying. I'm dying, everybody. I'm dying. This is not good. Oh my god. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. But at least when we have to redo this section, at least I know how it functions. Did she just, like, hit it when it happens when we get, like... How am I not? Okay. Okay. I am dead. <sighs> you didn't think we were going to get through a mounted combat section without me having problems with the controls, did you? Oh, I really like this music, though. <sighs> like, it sounds like somebody was like, like, Sitting down, like playing like a cool jazzy number on a piano. Ah, <sighs> thank you, thank you, everybody. I uh, I'm sorry to uh, t I have just basically ignored you all for like the past hour and a half, but there was a lot going on. So I'm really, 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 really not sure. Okay, so it is, I'm going to have to retry from last battle because we can't save here and we need to be able to save. So we're going to do this. I thought it was the end of the game. You can't blame me for thinking that was the end of the game. The game was presenting it like it was. This entire thing is the end of the game. Okay, we're going to do this then. Just before the last battle. Hopefully this isn't the entire mounted section, but we're going to see. Okay, let's do this. <sighs> okay. Now I know what I'm doing. Doesn't necessarily mean I'm going to do it right, but at least I know what I'm doing. Okay? I'm working on it. I'm working on it. The real thing is I need to not get set on fire is really what it comes down to. <laughs> and you can put that as a quote if you want. This should make you stronger. Well, hopefully it won't kill me if that's what you mean, Era. Oh my god. How do I... Focus. I just, I don't understand. Okay. Okay. Yeah, did you see that? Did you see that? Did you see how intentional that was? Compare that to when I didn't know how to play this section. It is amazing what a difference knowing the rules of something like mounted combat can make. Oh my god, stop spinning around! I don't like it on this! 
That side is the harder side. That's why I started on it. You giant bag of bolts. Very creative, Lauren. Okay, hold on. Let's not get hit by that one. Okay, we didn't get hit by that one, which is exactly what I said to do. So. Okay, okay, get out of the way. I don't know if that hurt me, but I, I'm not on fire, so I, I could be worse. Look who's not getting set on fire this time. Ha! Ha! I don't want to be on this side. I want to be on that side. I'm going to be on that side. That side is easier to hit from. Show me what you can do. Oh my god. Okay. I will if I can. Hold on. Can you heal me? Can you heal me, Red? This is farther than I got last time. Okay, don't run over... The laser mines. Man, down already. Oh my god. Will you stop being a pain in the butt? I don't like you. I don't like you. I don't like you. Keep it up. Okay, so that's that side. No, that's not that side. Why is this one? Why is that wheel super glowy? I don't like that. Oh jeez, no. No. Oh my god, you laser beamed me. Why? No! You stop, you pile of badness! Oh my god. You s- no! I- no! No, 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 And also, have we mentioned- no! Okay. That was the right thing to do there. No, don't you dare- no! Yes, thank you, thank you. I'm so glad I did that, actually. I hate hitting it from that side. I didn't do any damage to its health bar that time. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. So I was actually I was actually having a pretty decent time of it with the with the prior section. Um this is not like this might be it. It would be less bad if the camera were less bad. There is super mad. To be fair. I am also super mad at this bad guy, so... Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure how to beat this. I haven't saved in forever. So I have to get through this tonight. Keep it up. Okay, hold on. I need to not take as much damage. Oh, it might help if I hit with the right side. And literally the right side instead of the left side. You can do it! Yeah, taking less little damage will probably pay off. So that's, I don't know if that's... Hey, fight's not over yet! Bring it. No need to... Okay, screw that side. I'm going to this side. 
sorry, you have to deal with the fact that I can't, when I'm driving in games, I like, I'm going to sway side to side. I probably also make the silliest faces. Any on the other side? Really? Show me what you can do. I I will. Still got fire. Man, calm down already. Focus. Like I literally don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Hang in there, okay? I'm waiting. To make you stronger. Like, I cannot tell how I'm supposed to approach this. You notice I like finally get in there to hit it, and it's like whatever. Oh, are we turning around now? Cool. Tell if you use your like engine too much, it stops being as effective. section that I can't get out of there cloud I oh my god like why am I going at an angle now I don't know does anyone know how am I supposed to catch up to it I don't know we gotta give it our all oh my god Is it even physically possible to hit it more than I'm doing it right now? Don't give up now, you guys! Control the way I moved well enough to dodge things. Yeah, I'm probably gonna have to get some uh, get some advice on how to deal with this one because I have literally no idea, and I'm going to die a third time. No, cloud, cloud, get out of there! Like, was I stuck on it? Do you get stuck on it? I don't know. Are you sure it's not over? Because it, it, uh, I'm, it Come on. I'm like, Shake it off, okay? Stay strong. Hang in there, okay? Still got to fight it. Yet. So there's a lot going on here, right? There's it being difficult to consistently accelerate, I think. There's um, the fact that you're at an angle here. 
And so it's not just like a straight up left right thing. Unless I can like do something with the camera. This should make you stronger. Man, calm down already. So we're about to die again. essential about the physics that I'm failing to understand here. Like, is there something, something really important about the physics of this section that I'm not understanding? Because I am really struggling to understand how I could possibly do that better. Like, so like, yes or no question, is there something that I'm like, like whether it's like a button control or something about the way that the controls work that I don't understand. Okay, so the, the vertical movement, which is going forward and horizontal is side to side. I'm gonna drink some water. You should drink some water too. Hydration is important. Well, I think I'm gonna lose my voice from talking and yelling. Okay. <clears throat> now Blink Spat has redeemed to stretch. I'm sorry if anyone else has redeemed any of these others and I hadn't didn't see chat. But hopefully you had fun chatting amongst yourselves. Ah, stretch. This is actually really good. It cuts down on my frustration because you tend to carry tension. Emotional tension turns into physical tension. So if you get rid of the physical tension, it can actually do something about the emotional tension. This is good to know if you're feeling really tense and stressed out emotionally. Like stretch. And some part of it will get slightly better because of that. I have other attacks. I should be using triangle every time it comes off cooldown. Okay. There's a break. There's a break button. Okay. Okay, so triangle is good. There's button written on the top left. I did not see that. Okay. I'm going to give it another try. I just, I didn't see them. It also doesn't help that I have, like, various, like, lights and cameras and things in the way. Oh, it does have all of those moves! Whoa! Okay, I just didn't even think to look up there. Wow. You can do it. Don't you dare sass me, sir. I'm doing my best, okay? Some of us are just... We have a hard time with this, okay? Okay. Oh, oh. Bring it. Okay, hold on. So what you're telling me... Okay, I see. That does feel cool. It makes me feel like I'm in, like, a Fast and the Furious movie. Holy crap! Holy crap! Holy crap! Wow, that makes a big difference! Okay. Okay. It turns out that if you know the basic controls Okay, so for blocking, I wonder... Keep it up. Okay. Okay. 
knowing the controls of how the thing works makes a big difference. Right, why are That didn't hurt my team. Show me what you can do. Watch out. You can do it. Right, I forgot that it did this because it. No turning back. I was having a hard enough time doing its like regular stuff before this. Stop that, you jerk! Sorry, folks. They like lean right into my microphone. Oh. Why, do, why am I going to the side? I don't know. Did I tell him to go to the side? No. But he did it. I'm just I'm just trying to go forward. Oh, that one's invincible. Cool. Cool. Great. Cool. I love it. I love it. And by I love it, I mean I don't love it. Like, why, why did I do that? Is it because there's a turn, I guess? Do I need... Oh, I need to pay attention to the direction the road is turning to, don't I? Sorry, my nose is running over here. I don't know why. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's gonna do something nasty. Don't let it do that to you. Oh, okay, so depending on whether the road is curving one way or the other, it's better to approach from one side or the other side. Okay. This is a this has been a mounted section that I don't hate, but then this happens. Oh cool. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah, Tifa, I'm with you. Why like why is the camera oh because oh because the road is turning. Oh my god, okay. Damn it. Oh, shoot. 
No! Oh my god. <laughs> We're all taking some damage here. I'm wrestling with my camera. Hang in there, okay? Get out of the way, guys! Oh my god. Oh, okay. Don't look cloud, cloud, cloud. Get out of there! Oh my god. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Why this is what we're doing, but we they made Advent Children and therefore everyone has to jump as much as possible. Because that's their aesthetic in this game. It's people jumping and flinging themselves and each other up in the air. That's yeah, that's that's pretty satisfying. It's nice to have Oh no! Don't! No, no, no cloud, no cloud, cloud, no cloud, 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 cloud. Okay, well, we didn't die. Okay, he's messing with you. He's messing with you. It's the. We now know that Genova causes illusions. It's making an illusion. It's making an illusion. It's making an illusion. That's all. I'm gonna sit on this bench and think. <sighs> All right, folks. We're gonna save. That's not the save button, Lauren. I've been playing too much Super Nintendo games where you like hit buttons that aren't a start type button to save. We're gonna stop here for the night. Yes. Because I have to walk around outside instead of sitting in one place forever. It don't tell me how much left of the game, but I suspect we're very, very close. How's this? I will take the fact that this is going to take another session or so to try to finish up a chapter of silly fanfic for you between now and next week. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Oh man, folks. I'm just gonna take a couple minutes to talk, maybe. Um, all right. So, so I, I don't understand how this game would make sense if you hadn't played Crisis Core because you wouldn't know who Sephiroth was. And you wouldn't know why he had the connection to Cloud. You wouldn't know about those cells that are the Sephiroth cells that are in Cloud that came from Genova and that that's why this is happening. So you would just be like, what's going on? What's going on? Just like my impression from Final Fantasy VII was that there was a lot of stuff that didn't make any sense and characters I didn't like. And so like, I can see why because if I hadn't played Crisis Core, Crisis Core 2 would be much harder to understand. And as it is, like, I don't know. They've given me a lot of pieces to chew on, and I'm very excited about that. Um, okay, well, 
Well, but if, but if you've played the original, then you know where it's going to go and you know what's going on. You're basically you're playing a remake of a thing you've already played. So, so I don't count you. Of course, you know what's happening. They've already told you. You've you've heard what they've said. But okay, I guess this would be a mystery where I would just be like, I care about these characters, but I don't know why things are happening. But because I care about the characters and I care about what I know about, I will be intrigued and curious about this stuff. Um, but I like the fact that I know some of this stuff, but then there's all these other holes. And again, this game is holding up quite well as Crisis Core 2. Um, I, if they killed Wedge, please do not confirm or deny. We will find out. But it sure sounded like for some reason the Sand Wraiths knocked him out the window. <sighs> there was a shattering glass. There was him screaming. Maybe he's because he was like, maybe I made a difference. I'm like, no, you made a huge difference because of you. People survived from the Sector 7 slums without his efforts. Everyone would have died then um, or almost everyone. No, everyone. He's the one who convinced the, the guard to let through. But I was really frustrated. Um, I was really frustrated because, like, like I said, he was his survival made the sacrifice of everyone else on the pillar, like emotionally. OK, it was like we, we're, we're going to take a lot from you and make you cry a lot, but we're going to give you a little bit back. And the situation with Wedge, um, like, it was so quick and it was so unclear. And I was like, hold on, wait, what? And I didn't have a chance to react. It's like when Barrett died and I was like, like, hold on, wait a minute. You didn't just kill Barrett. I know you didn't kill Barrett, but it looked like you killed Barrett. And then, but then they threw me into all this other stuff, um, which was great. It was delaying the, uh, the, the resolution of that. So like, I didn't say anything when I was first fighting that fight because I was like still like reeling like but he just stabbed Barrett. What? And then there's the Genova stuff, which I don't I mean, I don't know how much I knew about Genova other than Genova was an alien. They put Genova cells in the babies that they put in the moms that then made the three soldier guys. Um but uh But like, I don't know. I, uh, yeah, I guess, I guess, wait, 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 wait. Is there a meta game happening here? Wedge died in the original. I've been told that everyone in Avalanche dies on the pillar in the original. And I was like, oh, neat. They decided, since they fleshed out those characters more, that they were going to save one of them. That's a really good decision. It makes a lot of sense emotionally. The Sand Wraiths, I don't think, were in the original, the Whispers. They're trying to make fate happen the way it's supposed to happen. And if they were correcting a mistake, a departure from the timeline as we know it, meaning Final Fantasy VII, where Wedge is supposed to die and yet he lived and then they have to correct that. They are trying to enforce the plot of Final Fantasy VII And so, based on this theory that me might be completely insane, please do not confirm or deny. Do not say anything about this, please. But if they're doing what I think they're doing, this isn't just a remake. That means that it is possible that at any point this game, because I was talking about like at some point we're going to throw off fate. At, at some point, because when you, you don't introduce fate and something trying to defend fate and something trying to fight fate. You don't introduce that unless the conflict of what is destined and free will is going to be thematically important to the story that you're telling. And so if you introduce fate and, the, and you see people trying to fight fate... At some point, 
This can go either one of two ways. Either characters will throw everything they have to try to resist fate and still be forced to follow the destined path, which is a kind of a reinforcement of like the world is hopeless and you only have so much power. Um, and sometimes it can be not quite that, but really that is emotionally what that's getting at, which is literally the opposite of what we ultimately want out of a cyberpunk story like this. Like a cyberpunk story, a cyberpunk story in which not only are you helpless against the massive corporation that like is literally all powerful within like the world you inhabit, but in which fate is also there and you are also powerless against fate would be a very, very, very bleak experience. It would be a perfect fit if that's the kind of story you want to tell. And cyberpunk works very well with that. And in that case, you would have the hopelessness of one and the hopelessness of the other working together to reinforce a feeling of hopelessness and powerlessness. And you could maybe add a story to that would be like, despite our powerlessness, we still find meaning would be the like positive <laughs> in the style of Russian literature, um, more hopeful take on that hopelessness. Um, or it could just be no matter what we do, life is meaningless. Um, and, and there's, and, and everything is bad, um, which I think would be less, less good. Um, but what you can do instead is have the hopelessness of the cyberpunk setting and the hopefulness of defying fate in opposition to one another, because eventually because I feel that this is the kind of game that this is the kind of story that will have hope. Crisis Core was a tragedy. We knew from the start that there was no way Zach Fair was going to survive. They brutally, evilly, deviously made you think with the helicopter and the and the Turks, which I I'm, I'm sorry, I'm never I'm never going to stop talking about that. Just accept it. It's like the most referenced thing. Um, but they, be, they give you the hope to take it away. But I feel like this is the game where they will take away the hope and then give it to you. And so I think they're going to take away the hope. But I think, I think because they set up, they set up this conflict with fate. Um, we're going to have to defy fate at some point. And I think this is going to be a game in which we succeed at defying fate. And so I think that that means that, that none of you, none of you, even those of you who've played the original Final Fantasy VII can know exactly what's going to happen in the Crisis Core series. Because, because Wedge survived, like all the other like changes have been like, we've developed the characters more we've added to this section you know we've 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 made things more complex and meaningful and detailed and that we've introduced new characters but nothing else has been a blatant change and departure from the story of the original other than a character who was supposed to die and didn't die the wraiths cor corrected that error but i thought that was a change that I was excited about, but it makes sense. If it is a we, this is how we changed from the, the, the faded plot that we already know and we have to reset it. There's going to be one we can't reset, or there's going to be one they can't reset. There's going to be something we're going to do differently and they can't reset it. If they're doing this, they might not be, but I think I think that they are uniquely in the position to do this with their narrative in a way like you never get to do like, how cool would that be to be like, we can make this game with a, with a meta component that like is in dialogue with the original game that came out like what, 20 years ago, 25, something like that years ago, 20, I don't know. But, but to have an extra layer of the game's narrative be that that is the fate that has been predetermined and we can break from it. And that's a way that we are reinforcing a theme of breaking against fate. God, I hope they do that. I'm so excited because this is part one. So even if, even if everything else goes according to plan, even if everything else from here on out is exactly the way it plays out in the original, except with like more explosions and maybe new characters and things. But even if 
everything else from here on out in this particular one is the same as it was in Final Fantasy VII, the original, because of the way that they handled Wedge dying. Like, maybe that's the one little bit we get in this. And maybe with each subsequent game, we get a couple more and we push at it more and we push at it more and then it departs and something different happens. That's so cool. And it could still be a really interesting and compelling narrative for the players of the game who've never played the game before because it will still stand on its own for the characters that we get and the story that we get. And they will be interested in what breaking from fate means for the characters without needing the larger context that the players who have had this in their hearts for over 20 years will bring to it. But they will have a new experience too. And for people like me who are kind of halfway in the middle, we'll be aware of what's going on, but also it will be fresh. That's so cool. You can't do that in other mediums. You can't do that. Like, like if you like rewrite, it'd be like, it'd be like rewriting a book that you wrote 20 years ago and the characters are fighting against it. But it's different because simply because they fleshed it out and made it so big and full and detailed and everything like that, because it's on a completely different console. You know, technology has evolved. Translation has evolved. Budgets have expanded way more than is reasonable. Um, but because of all of these factors, it can be an evolution of the original in a way that no other creative medium that I can think of is capable of doing. Like, that's crazy. I love it when you can do things like, I like linear narrative games. People are like, oh, she's like an interactive movie. I don't care. It's fine if it's linear. I'm totally fine. Like, take me on that journey. But when a game can tell a compelling narrative and also do it in a way that is only able to be done on the medium of gaming it's so cool like that's part of what makes gone home so cool when people criticize gone home because nothing happens like no what gone home does and this is actually this is making me think of the way gone home functions as an interactive experience if my little hunch about like the meta narrative is correct and it m might be founded on like absolutely nothing like this might be absolutely it's okay. Look, one thing that I do is that I like, I'll start building, I'll like put a thing down and be like, yes, well, we'll just build on that in case it's true. Sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. But if this is doing what I think it's doing, um, well, what I'm speculating it might be doing, I have no way of knowing that that is what I think it's doing, but it'd be super cool if it did. Um, oh my God, that'd be so cool. But so the way Gone Home works, and I'm not going to spoil the narrative, but you are a character walking around a house, picking things up, looking at things, getting your character's explanation of what's happening, getting like reading letters or flashbacks or whatever. So you piece together what's happened. And what you think has happened in this location is different at different points of the story. And it's not that different things are happening. It is that by what they show you shapes your interpretation of what's happening in the story or what has already happened in the story. So they show you this and you're like, oh, that's what happened. And they know that you're going to think that. And then they show you something else and you're like, oh, oh, I hadn't seen that. Oh, 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 it's not that at all. It's this other thing. Then over the course of this of the story, what changes is not that there's events changing. It's they are shaping and playing your your understanding of it. Like that's that's the narrative. That's the interactivity. And you can't have that in a book. Because in a book, the character's perception is going to be changing. Not you, the player. That, that, that meta component there cannot be in any non-interactive medium. And I think if this game doesn't do this, I don't know that anyone else can because it's specific to the remake situation and the fact that they can count on most of their players, or at least a significant number of their players, will be familiar at least on some level with the plot of the original. This is like, like a once in a lifetime opportunity to do something like this. And they can only do this once. Once they do this with the remake type thing, people will be expecting stuff like this. And boy, would people be mad if it departs from the original in a really major way. Oh my God, that would just be the coolest thing. I don't even care if I like what they do to the story at that point. Even if I'm like mad and think they do a bad job with the characters, if they do this, 
I am going to just, like, take my hat off to them for, like, the narrative. I mean, first of all, the, like, which it has fun to, like, do something like that with one of the most beloved games, narrative games of all time. If they do, if they say, we are doing this cool thing because we have an idea and we have an opportunity, like, people are going to be so mad because because people want something like a remake to be, like, a familiar... It's like when people are like, oh, Lauren, do you want a Final Fantasy VI remake? And I'm like, sure, I'd love to see what they do with it. It will not be a replacement for the original because in order to make a game from the Super Nintendo era function by today's narrative standards, it's like having to adapt a dream to be a functional story. Adaptation must occur. Um, and so I'd like to see what they would do with that. Um, what they would create that would be that thing. But I know it's going to be an adaptation. But to be an adaptation that uses the medium that it's in to add an extra narrative level, that's... That's so cool! I'm just like so excited! I know I was gonna like go undo stuff that isn't this. I'm really glad we're stopping here because I don't know that I would have thought through this if we pressed on and I got distracted by the story. But man, that's so cool. I wonder if they're going to do that. If they don't do that, somebody should do that. If they don't do it, somebody should do it. I have no idea who or what because the, the games that are eligible for delivering that kind of experience, I'd have to think. This is the perfect one. Oh my god, I would be so excited. As, like, the writer in me is just, like, literally vibrating with excitement about this, if you can't tell. Um, so yeah, please don't spoil the original or, or this. Um, we do have a spoiler channel on our Discord. You are more than welcome to go there. And even if you don't ever want to hang out in the Discord otherwise, but if you're like, I'm going to, like, explode... If I don't just start yelling at somebody about the weird stuff that Lauren is saying, you can absolutely, um, you can absolutely, like, just join the Discord briefly and yell and then you can leave. It's fine. I won't mind. Um, yeah, so I'm really excited about it. Um, and uh, let me go ahead and say if you want to do that, yes, you can go explode in our stream spoilers channel, which is very exciting. Um, I don't go there, so it's safe. Oh, man. Okay. Anyway, I, uh... Yeah, Destiny's Crossroads does sound like that might happen now. But I have no idea. So, yeah, folks. I think I'm going to shut down here. But thank you so much. Thank you to my regulars. Thank you if there are, like, any lurkers who dropped by because you're like, I heard some really talkative girl is going to beat this game soon. I should see what she's up to. Thank you so much for joining. Um, this is what I do. We might do music this Saturday. I don't know. Um, but yeah, we're doing a Tuesdays. So we go into Wednesdays, Final Fantasy 14. We're getting very close to Stormblood. Thursday, I guess maybe we'll beat this game. We'll see. Good night. Thank you so much. And uh, I will see you all soon. <laughs>